sure there's going to be good wine, and we, we just are on a journey to discover what those are and share that with you. That's right. So we're going to just dive right in here on our first show. There's our introduction. We're going to try some wine. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, is we are going to look uh, at the packaging before we even dive into the wine. Because we are marketing, guys. We, we have to look at the packaging. We, we have to see <laughs> if they did a good job. So the first wine of North Carolina Wine TV of all time is by Raylan Vineyards, and it is the Carolinius, and it is a 2005 red wine. It is from Moxville, North Carolina, which is west of Winston-Salem, and uh, it's a blend of Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, and Cabernet Franc. So Bordeaux grape varietals, in pretty traditional Bordeaux-style uh, blending, blended together in this wine by the folks at Raylan Vineyards. So Jeff, packaging, what are your thoughts? We've got, we've got the bottle here, we've got the cork. Cork Raylan, pretty classy looking. Well, I see, I see a wa a blurry watercolor with some grapes, and mm -hmm. what gets me is this is a red wine. They had to print a separate label to say red wine, and all the grapes they're showing are white are, grapes. Are white grapes. I, I would so agree. So not it, if it's their logo, it's okay, but. Yeah, uh, a I simple mean, thing to change. Yeah, uh, what it is is, I mean, I think it looks classy. It's not, you know, it's not over the top. The bottle is, you know, kind of your normal traditional wine bottle. It's not some fancy, big, oversized glass bottle. Um, the gold is a little dated. I just think the color and the, the font, the printing is a little dated. But I think that, you know, it could easily be changed. But uh, I will say, in picking this up from the store in the grocery, grocery shelf, it is better packaged than some of the other wines from North Carolina that I was, that was looking at. So I definitely think they're probably mid-pack, in the middle of the pack in terms of how they're marketing, how the product looks. Right. So... Now let's let's get into it. Okay. So we're gonna. So we are we are probably not going to be very formal wine tasters, no. but we'll we'll do a little bit of the stuff that everybody tells you you should do when you taste wine. One of the things that I, that I've learned tasting wine is that. So much of your taste is based on smell, mm -hmm. and so tasting wine always begins with smell. And wine tasters say, you put your nose in the glass and take a big whiff of the smell mm -hmm. to really get, to actually prepare yourself for what the wine will taste like. Great. And, but we're going to start real quick and looking at the wine. I, I will say it looks a little, a little light in terms of color. Normally, this blend of, uh, of grapes, you wouldn't be able to see your, your fingers through the glass that much. Uh, so it's maybe a little thin, but I mean, it's, you know, nice, nice deep red, purple color here. Uh, now, now, Jeff, you want to take us into the, the smelling portion okay. of our... Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll put my nose in here and take a big whiff. And I, I am not one who can easily discern those flavors that people use to describe wine. Right. People will I think tell it's me. Difficult. That's right. People say, oh, well, you taste this kind of fruit or that kind of thing. And I say, oh, yeah, I guess I can, I can see that. But off the top of my head, I don't say, oh, well, that's a whatever. Pineapple. Right. That, yeah. Pineapple. I've never had pineapple wine. But <laughs> right. We'll see how that goes. So, so this is kind of like nosily challenged, okay. I think. I mean, it smells. There's there's a little the little fruit of some time there, but there's uh -huh. also like a layer of kind of I'm trying to think like the sweater you had in the back of your like dresser or whatever you know uh, that's okay. like all folded up and it kind of you know it's just been hanging out right. for a while it has that kind of not stale I don't know it's something like that what do you I mean do you get that I, I, don't, I don't get that I don't get that I don't know it, that that's okay. what I'm getting so okay. well let's let's, let's give it a try. It is a bit harsh. It, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't have a very smooth flavor. It's 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 astringent. Uh huh. I, I you know it's it, it it's tannic in the way that it kind of gets your mouth puckered yeah. up a little bit. And you try again. You'll notice that here that we don't have any spit buckets. No spit bucket action. Okay. We're, no spit buckets. We're, we're regular guys. We we swallow the wine. We don't spit it back out. So. And we don't even have crackers. Maybe we need to think about that for an episode. Oh, well, we're going to do some food. We're going to do North Carolina barbecue <laughs> and wine. We're going to do some fun stuff. Okay. 
Okay, so it hasn't gotten any better. No. But it's not terrible. It's not bad. It's just not good. Um, it's not delicious okay. tasting. It right. Did, it's not like I, I'm not like I need to drink this whole bottle of this. Right. And, and I think if if you were at someone's house and they served it with dinner, I, you'd probably drink it. It's per it's perfectly <laughs> serviceable. If you were right. with friends, family, talking, carrying on, you'd probably you know it, right. it would definitely be a good choice. I, I will say we, we did forget to mention the price point. This was fourteen ninety nine. Uh, at Harris Teeter. Harris Teeter is normally a little high on the line price, so you may be able to get it for a couple bucks cheaper, a couple bucks more. So around that $15 region. I will say for $15, it's not a very good value. Right. There are wines from other states, from probably other parts of North Carolina, that may be a better value. Um, I know people normally rate wine on the scale of you know, 1 to 100. Um, this is probably somewhere in the, you know, the 70 to 80 range. I mean, it's probably like, I don't know. My heart says 78. <laughs> Your right heart here. says 78. My heart okay. says 78 right here. Well, I'll, I'll let you have that, and I'll just talk about pricing a little bit. We did mention that many of the wineries in North Carolina are smaller and may, have, may not have the same kind of distribution. And we're, we are probably going to find that in a lot of cases, the North Carolina wine is, in fact, more expensive yeah. than, than you would expect to go to the grocery store and just buy a bottle of wine. It's true. I mean, it's, he's, he's completely right. And I'm, I'm continuing to try this out. Uh, you know, let, let, give, it a, give it a go here. It's, you know, it's growing on me a little bit. Uh -huh. um, what we were going to finish up the show basically talking about what we think the uh, the winery, the winemaker, because I'm sure these are really awesome people, and they work really hard to make this wine. And, and again, it's not bad. It's just it probably could be better. Right. And so I could, uh, body-wise, I actually think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's kind of a medium body wine. Yeah, it is. It just, it, 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 they need to bring the fruit, mm -hmm. the fruit forward a little bit, and it's, it, and it probably needs to be a little more balanced. Yes. Balanced and smoothed out. It's, it's yes. a little, it's a little rough, I think, as a. Right. It, it may be slightly over oaked. It just mm -hmm. it has a, like a woodiness to it that is a little much. I could use a little bit more fruit, mm -hmm. a little less wood in my wine. Okay, you know, that's quote of the day right there. <laughs> so so that is the Raylin Carolinius. Pretty good packaging. Cool name. Cool. Yep. Carolinius, that's pretty awesome. Um, average wine. Um, you know, again, if you're taking, a, you know, you need to take a North Carolina wine for a party or theme or whatever that you're having, not a bad option. Right. De definitely serviceable, and you can get it at the grocery store, so very convenient. Mm -hmm. It's just probably not, you know, your best, you know, the best buy at $15. That, that's all I think I'm going to. Okay. What do you think? Yeah, I I, I agree. Um, if somebody served it to me, I would I'm sure I would drink it. Uh, I don't know that I would go out. I don't know that I would go out and buy it. Mm -hmm. um, but we we may have that issue with lots of North Carolina wines because they they are in the pricey. They're a little pricey because if I buy a bottle of wine, I'm probably looking in the seven to ten dollar range. Mm -hmm. And once you start pushing up towards fifteen. You're expecting a lot more. Yeah, if, if seven to ten dollars, that, that would start working to be a pretty good value. I mean, it does have a lot of good things going for it, and I, I can definitely tell that the wine winemakers are, are doing a good job in trying to make it better. I just think that they can focus on the fruit and maybe get some good growing conditions as well here in North Carolina that, that can, can really go some places. So that is that is the deal, Raylin Carolinius. Thank you for checking out the very first episode, number first. one. You're going to look back in like 30 episodes and you're going to say how terrible this one was. And we fully expect it to kind of suck because it's the first one. The first episodes are always hard. But uh, Well, your part of it will suck. My part of it will be right on. You're always awesome. So, so that being said, we're going to publish North Carolina.